Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create help pop-up on mouse click. So let's uh, move to demo file and understand what is help pop-up and how it will be helpful in creating a guideline to the user. So let's jump to demo file. So uh, this is the demo file and it's basically related with the data entry form. And I have already uploaded the tutorial on this form. So if you want to learn how to create this data entry form using VVA code, you can watch uh, that tutorial. I will provide the link in description box. So in current tutorial, uh, we will be uh, focusing on creating the help, uh, you know, help pop up uh, to each and every uh, controls like input controls like here name, gender, qualification, city, state country as well as some command button like save reset and show help so suppose we just need to uh, provide a guideline so that user can understand and you know understand what is required to input in this uh, in this form and uh, which button uh, what is the purpose of each and every button right so in that case uh, either we can create a documentation where we will take a snapshot of each and every controls and mention that okay you just need to enter name in name field you just pay, uh, click on option button to select any of the gender you can select uh, qualification from the drop down like that so in that case you need to uh, you know create a separate document and share with uh, the end users and that will be you know uh, not a real time manner right you if user wants to understand all those process and uh, take a help then user needs to open that file and then take help so to uh, to provide the best solution we can create a help pop up so that uh, whenever you will click on uh, show help it will open a pop up uh, against each and every controls showing which type of uh, what they need to enter and uh, what is the purpose of all these command buttons so let's uh, let's click on show help and here you can see that once I click on show help the button has changed it to hide help and for each and every controls it is showing a pop-up uh, message like here you can need to enter name then you need to select qualifications select gender enter city enter state then country and you can click on uh, click to save and click to reset and hide help so uh, this type of help you can create and this is the real-time help because you do not need to provide a separate document for that right and this is uh, you know very easy because once user will be able to understand uh, the, all uh, the requirements and the forms you just just need to click on hide help and it will hide all those information and then user can proceed with entering all the information and saving transferring the data as well as resetting the uh, you know a uh, form so this I have created this help for this uh, this form but if you have some complex form of some uh, you have developed some you know complex application in visual basic application or maybe excel you can replicate the same technique and code to show and hide the help okay and the code is very very easy you just you just need to and uh, write two or three different line of visual basic code and and that will work okay so this is very easy let's uh, close this file and open the practice file so that we can start writing and designing the help pop up uh, uh, from scratch so uh, this is the same file but uh, we do not have help button over here and i have also uh, there is no visual uh, visual basic code to show the help okay so first of all uh, let's uh, design all those pop up uh, helps over here message box so to do that we just need to uh, go to insert tab and insert tab just click uh, under illustration group just click on shapes okay and under shapes uh, this is the callouts like in the callout section you just need to select the rectangular callout just click on it and just click over here now let's start designing so we just need to one callout for name so let's right click over here edit text and 
and enter enter name here okay let's make it smaller a little bit go to home increase the size uh, maybe a little bit smaller go to format and select any of the de desired format so let's uh, go with uh, this one maybe this time or maybe we can stick with the, the blue color okay let's copy this and paste with control v and then just this is for gender so let's select select gender okay now again control v for here this will be click to reset form so we have done with all the pop-up helps so as we have two different buttons save and reset apart from these two buttons we need one more button that will be for help so that whenever user will click on that button it will show all those pop-up helps right so let's go to developer tab and click on design mode here and click on insert and then uh, we need button over here so you can click on command button and then just you know, insert a command button over here or alternatively you can just press select this reset and control c to copy this and control v so go to properties and change the name cmd help okay and that should be show help and the accelerator key should be p so we have done with the show help uh, let's create a pop-up help for show help as well so control c and control v and let's put uh, this shape over here and indicate the show help click to hide help okay so press ctrl s to save the changes so now we have done with all those uh, required shapes to show the help so let's uh, select all these shapes so while holding uh, control uh, select all these shapes with mouse click okay and then right click on any of the shapes and click on group so now we have created the group for all the shapes let's change the group name so here uh, you can see that uh, it's showing group 5 so let's rename this so help help shape okay so now you can see that it's showing uh, help shape uh, let's uh, move to visual basic application so as we are in designing mode uh, we can just double click on show help so just double click on here and once you will double click uh, you will be jumped to a microsoft visual basic pro application and there is a new sub procedure that is called cmd help underscore click so it will be you know gate fired whenever user will click on that particular button so let's start writing the code so first of all we need to validate what is the caption for cmd help so if cmd help dot caption is equal to show help then uh, we need to change the caption here so cmd help uh, dot caption and the caption would be hide help okay and now we need to show uh, all those shapes so let's write the code this this workbook dot this 
boom dot sheets and the sheet name is form dot shapes now we need to refer the shapes and shape name is a shape help shape dot visible and the visibility should be true uh, and if the cmd help caption is different like hide help then what we need to do uh, we need to uh, change the caption dot caption and the caption would be show a uh, hide hide help sorry so caption would be because we have already changed the name over here uh, so it should be show help and we need to hide this so this book dot sheets and then sheet name is form and again the shapes the shape name is help help shape dot visible is equal to false and if so our code is done let's debug and compile so we don't do not have any uh, syntax error over here so press ctrl s to save the changes and click on excel to jump to excel let's come out from designing mode so just click on design mode here and now our code is ready just click on show help and hide help so now we can see that uh, while showing like if you want to show uh, the help then you just need to click on show help and it will start showing all those shapes and let's click on hide help and it will hide this so hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day